Hello, Internet, and welcome to my channel. It's so rarely when I have a day off of work, and when I do, my favorite thing is to curl up on the couch and to just plow through a book. As I go and do that today, I look through my shelf of currently reading books, and I think it might be at an all-time high. I don't know if this is normal or not. Do you have a big currently reading list? I try and keep mine small, but it's so hard. Like, I'll get through a book and get to a certain point and then just not be super interested anymore. And I know that you should just buck up and do it, but I don't want to get into a reading slump. On the one hand, I could read this book and potentially get in a reading slump. Or on the other hand, I could pick up another book. I mean, I've got hundreds to choose from, but I think my currently reading situation is getting a little out of hand. So I thought I'd go through some of the books I'm currently reading. This is a really vague term I'm going to use because seriously, the last time I picked up some of these books was over a year ago, but I still count them as currently reading. My retention skills are pretty high, so I often remember exactly where I left off. So I don't find it a problem picking up a book that I put down a year ago and starting right where I left off. Sometimes I'll go back a few pages, but I'm not going to go back to the beginning of the book because I already didn't like that much the first time. I'm not going to like it now. So I'm just going to go through some of these. The first one is Outpost by Anne Aguirre. I read the first one in the series, and this one actually I might be finishing soon. I'm actually currently reading this one. Does that make more sense? Also, Diviners by Libra Bray. I'm also currently reading this one. I'm actually audiobooking it, and the narration is really good. But it's just such a chunker, and I'm getting a little tired of it. Next is the graphic novel Low. Honestly, the illustration's fine. I just don't care for the story. Next is Girl Walks Into a Bar by Rachel Dratch. I've been reading a lot of autobiographies lately, and I've been loving them. Grace Helbig's is freaking so funny. I can't words. I like Rachel Dratch. I think that her writing is pretty good. I just can't... I just can't, I don't know why. Next is one that has been on my currently reading for almost two years. And I've had spells of it where I'll sit and read like 50 pages and then the next night I'll read like 50 pages and then I won't pick it up again for another couple months. It's not bad writing, I just don't know. It's The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith. I really want to read these books. Why won't I finish it? I really love this cover though. Next is Ungodly by Kendari Blake, and I know exactly why I haven't finished this. It's because I don't want to finish this. I am seriously only halfway through. I've been reading it since it came out in end of September, early October, I can't remember. And I just, first of all, I love Kendari Blake. She's bae. But I don't want this story to end. I fell in love with these characters straight off the bat, and I just know a whole lot of shite's gonna go down, and I don't want her to kill off any of my loves. And also, I just don't want it to end. Next is the Shatterhunters Codex, and the reason I'm in the middle of this is just because it's really a dry read. It's, it is what it is, what it is, what it is, and it is a really dry read. It's just informational text, and I find that hard to get through. Next is A Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, and my significant other doesn't read, and when they told me to read this, I was like, oh, no, I've got to because I tell them to read stuff all the time. I know I should read it. I know it's good for me, but it's hard. Next is My Drunk Kitchen. I got to eating, drinking, and going with your dad by Hannah Hart, and I'm that far, like a good third of the way, and I really liked it. Why did I put you down? It's so funny. Why did I put you down? I'm gonna pick you back up. Next is Still Starcross by Melinda Taub, and I don't even know why this is on my currently reading list, because I read like 10 pages, and uh, I think I just gave up on it, but uh, my brother-in-law got it for me for Christmas. He thought I'd like it, which was super sweet of him. I gotta do it, don't I? Next is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I know people say that the Invernal Devices is, is their favorite between these and the Mortal Instruments. I don't see it yet. I don't know if I'm just resisting because it's not Jason Cleary and Simon, but probably. I don't like Will. I don't like Tessa. Next is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, and of course I jumped on that Outlander train when it pulled in the station. But it's just such a dense book, like so many words on a page. And the thing is, I know it's going to be wonderful because everyone says it's wonderful. Is it wonderful? It's also like 600 pages. Who writes about that 600 pages? Oh, but look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. I need alone time. Next is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. Um, I know this one relatively just came out, so I shouldn't feel bad that I haven't finished it yet, but I usually just fly through recordings books, but the last one in the Heroes of Olympus series, I haven't even picked up yet, and I'm only like nine pages into this one, and I got it when it came out. I am feeling pretty crappy about myself right now. This is way more depressing than I thought it would be. <laughs> Next is A Court of Thorns of Roses by Sarah J. Maas. When it came out and people were like, oh, it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I was like, awesome, Beauty and the Beast is my favorite. But the thing is, it's only like super loosely based on Beauty and the Beast. And I was not wanting a word for word retelling, but I was looking for a, a bit more familiarity. And this didn't do it for me. I guess I can't make too many opinions though, because I'm only like 100 pages in. And next is the queen of my currently reading shelf, because it has been on there for like three years. My friend finally gave it to me, and she loves this author. And I've read one or two things by her, and have been mostly indifferent to it. But Bonnie says that this is the best one that she writes. The Constant Princess by Philippa Gregory. I think I lost my marker in it. Shite. First of all, I'm not into historical fiction at all, and then I don't like political intrigue that much, but I love the Tudor period. I don't know. I don't know, guys. 14. 14 books I'm currently reading. 
if you know of a good hole to crawl in somewhere, please let me know because I'm just feeling so ridiculously overwhelmed now and I can't start anything else until I finish these. Not to mention, I still haven't finished the red tent by Anita Demiot. Oh my goodness. Ah, just found another one. Memories of my melancholy horrors. Haven't finished that one yet either. God, let me just look around, see if there are any more. Okay, I've got like 20 pages in Percy Jackson and the Greek Gods. That one doesn't count. Who knows? Maybe that's it. Maybe there are 15 more I forgot about. Oh my goodness. If you guys have read any of these that I am currently reading and have just loved them, please let me know because I'm just feeling all of the guilt right now. Oh, happy place. Belly breathe. I'll make sure and update you on my progress with any of these. It'll either be a video or, you know, a parade when I have finished one of them. Thanks so much, guys.